welcome back to On The Collector with me, Jace. And yeah, basically, so basically I wanted to do a, a reaction video to the recent Weta Unleashed live streams. And I've left a few days because I had so many videos coming out in such close proximity. I didn't want to sort of have too many videos crammed together. I do like to try and leave a few days gap if I can do, but there was, as you know, some of them videos I needed to bang out straight away. So that's that's why I've, I've sort of held off uh, banging this video out. But yeah, anyway, let's, let's, let's get into this. So... I'm not going to go into the, um, what are they called, mini epics, because mini epics are what they are, aren't they? You know, if you like mini epics, superb, and yeah, you know, I've got a couple, I've had, I've had a few others, like, but I, I'm not going to get into them, because mini epics, they are what they are, so. Um, okay, let's start with the, the obvious one, which is the, the Dead Marshes. Now, I'm not going to sit here uh, gushing and drooling all over it. I've done a separate video on it already with my reaction to when I first saw that. So, um, as most of you know, I've pre-ordered it. You know, now, like so many others, I expected this to sell out and sell out quick, which was why I was one of many that was <laughs> screaming at their computer at just after 10 p.m. because the, the site froze. There were obviously so many people banging their orders in. Now, this is an edition size of 550. Now, the Escape Off the Road was 500. And if memory serves me right, that sold out within a day, less than a day, I think it was. And this is what I expected with this, because literally I was watching the, the, the live stream and the dead marshes went low stocks, I think within an hour, within an hour it went low stock. Well, I looked just before doing this video, it's still on wetter, low stock. So I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm really surprised by that. Is the 550, the extra 50 tagged on the end there, is that just one or two too many edition size? Is it the fact that it's, you know, it's £2,164? Is it just the fact it's nudged over £2,000? A lot of collectors are like, oh, that's too much for a 1.6 scale diorama. I don't know, make your own minds up on that, but for whatever reason, it is still available from Weta for any of you who are, are interested in it. All I will say on, on the subject is this. Now, I've had a few days to think about this. I've had a look at the photographs and all that. To me, to my mind, to my eye, this is the single best Lord of the Rings piece I have ever seen. I've been trying to think of something that I've seen, own, got coming, that I think is better than this. I honestly can't think of one. I, I think this is the best Lord of the Rings piece. I've, best piece Wetter have ever done, and I can't think of a single lord of the rings piece out there that i personally have seen images of that i would say is better than this you know the concept of this the the the, the fact that how they've had to engineer this the the, the artistic approach and everything I, I, it's superb i'm not going to go because i've already gushed over this one enough <laughs> so yeah i i but i do that's that's my honest thoughts on it so 2,164 pound. I thought I was a little bit surprised i thought it was a little bit high priced but it didn't stop me from pre-ordering because for me it'll be the best piece of my collection simple as that simple as that and i can't wait to see how weta top this um richard talks about summiting everest have you just done it with this piece i don't know i can't wait to see what you do to top this i really genuinely can't. i actually have sat and watched this week <laughs> we're only on wednesday this week i have watched all three extended lord of the rings films looking at every single scene with a with an eye of would they do this could they do this they might do this it's a coming video it's a, that's what i was doing my homework for an upcoming video so more on that later but yeah anyway moving on from that ellen deal one six scale wow now do you know what i when i did my massive u-turn on one six scale my hypocritical one six scale u-turn I was like, I told myself, do you know what? You can get around this because you're going for dioramas. You're going for the Masters Collection. They're big pieces. They're intricate. They're amazing. Blah, 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 blah. Just don't collect 1-6 scale figures. Just don't collect 1-6 scale statues. Standalone statues. Just, just don't do that. That's, that's... And then I saw this and I've got to admit, it's so good. And do you know what? The armour and the intricacy of the armour, I mean, on the on the back as well, the, the feathers on his cape, which were incredible. And they were talking in depth about the chainmail is outstanding but you know what grabbed me on this statue what really grabbed me it was just that expression on his face that dour expression it was incredible i really got the the feeling of in the book and and sort of in the film as well i suppose although in the film it's only done very briefly kind of need gil glad with him um 
just like he's looking up at Sauron. Yeah, for anyone who's got the one six scale Sauron, wow, because apparently these two pieces, you put them together. Superb. I mean, for anyone that's got the one six scale wet Sauron coming, this this to me is a no-brainer. And even if you haven't got it, it's still, it's just that expression, just him looking up at Sauron and that sort of, I don't know, did Ellen Deal have resi you know, resigned himself to the fact this was a fight he couldn't win? But I, I, that, that, just the expression on that face, on that statue, really, when I saw it on there and when I saw images of it, it just really gripped me. It did. It just, it just something about it got me. And I, I think it's an incredible piece. I'm not going to get it. I am not going to get it. But I kind of envy all of you who are, because I think it's an outstanding, outstanding piece. So, yeah, that's enough on that one. Let's go on to the next one, which was the Gandalf the White Piece. Now, a lot of people, oh, I say a lot of people, I saw people commenting on the fact that the staff's too long. I don't think it is. Literally watched Two Towers Extended the day before yesterday, and I was having a real good look at that. No, I don't I don't think it is. I think the staff is the right height. So I think it's a petty thing to be complaining about anyway. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, so what was I going to say? Oh, this is when I go off on a tangent. Yeah, people were saying they didn't like the, the they didn't like pose particularly. I, I do. I think it looks really good. Um, but again, I suppose I, I'm not going to get it. I'm not going to get it. I'll be honest with you. It's three hundred and thirty-three pound. This is three hundred and thirty-three quid for that. So yeah, you know, with the price hike, it's what basically the equivalent of what the the Nazgul behind me there cost the wetter Nazgul piece on the bottom. So the next one, well, the next two actually were these figures of fandom, which I've got to be honest with you guys, I don't really know much about this. All I know is I believe they're eighth scale. And I mean, for eighth scale pieces, they look they look good. So for people who I don't know, maybe haven't got a huge budget or haven't got a lot of display space or just don't want to collect big pieces, prefer the smaller scale pieces, like obviously like Iron Studios, for example, uh, which are 10th incidentally. Um, you know, and I think these are, are just a Nat's cock under a hundred pound each. You know, they look sound. So first of all, we got the the Saruman one, who's got the uh, the, the crabines who are metamorphosing behind him by the looks of it. You know, and I, I thought it was sound. I must admit, when I first saw it on on the live stream, I, I was sort of I think I'd do something else at the time, probably trying to pre-order the dead marshes because the site froze I, I did initially think it was a six scale um it was only afterwards when i sort of watched the i watched the live stream again a second time and uh, i realized that you know these figures of fandom are actually a slightly small scale it's hard for me to sort of get too sort of emotionally involved in this because being totally honest with you guys i know i'm not going to have it i know i'm not going to buy it and i'm not going to sit here and get pretend to be excited about something that I'm not excited about, you know, that's, I'm, I'm sorry, I can't, I, but I think for the money, for the scale, yeah, it looks sound. The same with the Gimli piece, again, you know, for something that's eight scale and, and for a hundred quid, it, it looks, it looks really, really good. And I think, to be honest with you, if memory serves me right, these are a slightly bigger scale than Iron Studios and come in slightly cheaper, I think. So for any of you who collect the smaller scale pieces or are interested in smaller scale pieces, there you go. So yeah, so that's it really for, for what was revealed this year for me. Uh, to, to sort of round it all off, Dead Marshes I believe is an absolute triumph. I don't think I've ever been so excited to receive a piece. And I, as you know, I've been bloody excited uh, in the past. <laughs> I'm still out much. Um, yeah, talking of release piece, I'll, I'll come to that in a second. Um, yeah, you know, the Ellen Deal piece I think is, is fantastic for a six scale. I think it's one of the best six scale pieces I think I can recall, I can remember seeing Gandalf the White. Yeah, you know, it's 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 a sound little Gandalf piece. I, and yeah, the figures of fandom, there you go, They're, they are what they are. So, the blobbled, mixed up, sort of all over the place when I literally, I was going to do this tomorrow and then I, and I just had my tea and I was just sat here and I was just thinking of what to do and I thought, no, no bollocks I'll do that video I'll get on and do that video now so my brain sort of disjointed I'm not making a lot of sense um yeah just for those of you who may want to know there were some images released uh, or revealed however you want to word it uh the last couple of days of the prime one studio lego last piece which is I believe I've not actually read much on it I've only just I've only been showing the images thank you Sean by the way for sending those to me um Yes, yeah, so the Prime One Legolas piece, uh, someone in Asia has got it. So normally, going on rule of thumb, whenever the images pop up from collectors there, 
I normally expect to receive it round about four weeks, round about four weeks after that. So I'm kind of hopeful that Legolas will be here end of August, hopefully end of August. So we'll have to see, fingers crossed on that. But for all of you who've been asking questions, what will be the next Lord of the Rings piece released by, I was going to say, where works from that? Prime One Studio. We know now it is indeed going to be Legolas. And with the fact that the Berserker Orc has been given his edition size, 350 for the DX, 100 for the regular, for those of you who don't know, I'm guessing he's going to be next. And then obviously we've got the Frodo and Gollum. I think that's it for this year then. Finally, before I go, guys, any of you that wanting to jump on the Bilbo Pipe giveaway thing that I'm doing, whether you create the Lord of the Rings character, blah de blah, blah blah you've got two more days. Two more days. You've got Thursday, Friday, because I'll be doing the draw Saturday. So jump on that, any of you that so were going to do it, are going to go for it. Thank you to all of you who have entered. It's been some superb stories and everything that you've sent me. I've really, really enjoyed reading them, and I really, really appreciate you all taking part. I say I'll be doing that draw on Saturday afternoon, probably, so keep your eye out for that. That will be the next video out as well. I've spoken for long enough. <laughs> I'm going to go, guys. So let me know what you all thought of the wetter reveals in the below, and anything else you want to discuss. As ever, guys, just shove it in the comments below. You know I love to hear from you all if you've enjoyed the video give it a like and if you haven't done so already or you're new here please consider subscribing to the channel because that would be just ace if you did so right i'm gonna go guys because i've got a brew sat there and i'm dying to drink it take care of yourselves have a good remainder rest of your week and i will catch you all on saturday where i will be doing a draw for the winner of the bilbo in i was gonna say bilbo in back yeah? bilbo's pipe from wetter workshop i'm going i'm going Take care of yourselves. That's right.